I got a bunch of fun questions and hopefully you guys don't mind. So who do you think is the strongest character in the game and who is the strongest character in the movie? I think the strongest character in the game was always uh, Liu Kang for me, just because he's so cheap and overpowered. Um, his cheap leg sweeps, his bicycle kicks that nobody can escape once you get hit, um, and how much damage he actually takes off of one hit is crazy. And then Raiden, too. Once you master Raiden, I think he's almost unbeatable. Um, and in the movie... In the movie, maybe I think Raiden or... Uh, yeah, for me, yeah, it would be Raiden as well. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> and that gets you. That gets me very frightened. Yeah, it's just the Thunder God, right? I mean, who can beat Raiden? I think um, he's pretty much on top. Um, I, I, I pick Sonya, actually. Like a female, a strong female character in the, in, in the movie. I think, um, yeah, she quite stands out. Okay. Did you guys joke around at all and decide what your friendship would be if it was portrayed in the movie? Yeah, our friendship would be a Mortal Kombat musical. <laughs> Just an, an, the entire movie done again after credits roll in musical form. Yeah, I think I would use um, Kung Lao's hat to, first of all, buy a cake for everyone and then slice it uh, with my hat and give everyone a piece. I like that. that that's great. Um <laughs> Who do you think has the most brutal fatality in the game? Oh, gosh, there's a lot. I think um, Kano, I think Kano, Kano fatality Kano. is always pretty hilarious. Yeah, I think Kano does some pretty sick shit. I mean, stabbing someone with a beer bottle and killing him off and dancing around with the skeleton. I mean, Got it. Maybe, maybe Kano. I think a lot of people like to learn stuff that they don't know about the making of a movie. And I'm curious, uh, for Mortal Kombat, for making the film, what do you think might surprise people to learn about the making of the film or the behind the scenes? Um, okay, well, I got one. Um, and I'll speak for Liu Kang. Uh, because in the very beginning when I went for a fitting, um, as soon as I got in there, I realized that they planned, they didn't plan the headband for Liu Kang. So then this all along, I didn't, I, I didn't want, I think people are going to get send me death threats. I was worried about that if that didn't show up in the movie. So I tried hard to find a place to fit it in. And the place in the movie where I found um, it worked perfectly. And I pitched it to, to uh, Simon, our director. He loved it. And it just took a lot of coordinating to actually make that happen. And I'm glad we were able to do it in the end. Yeah, I mean, um, for me, it must have been the hat um, putting it on for the first time because it was so heavy. And when I um, prepped for the movie um, before that, I used like my own hat for, made out of cardboard and I would try all these, you know, flips and spins and move. And it worked out pretty well. But once I tried on the, the real hat, it was like, oh, my God, do I have to? How can I even pull off those those movements with, with this this hat? So that was it was quite interesting. Um, on that note, I got to stop. I'm just going to say, I really hope it's a huge hit and you guys get to make another one. Awesome. Everyone's thinking. Thank you. Thing. Thank you, Chris, or Steve. <laughs>